Yeah, dear Anthony, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, thank you very much for the invitation for this afternoon session, and thank you for all of you who are already staying with us. Uh, as I learned this morning, it was a little bit more, so I can give you all details about what's going on in MIFID before I come uh, to the famous SME structure, because then you are those lucky ones who stood longer than the others and have more information than the others. <laughs> That's in Euro on European level we call added value and uh, <laughs> without taxation today, so it's <laughs> fair enough. So, so thanks uh, um, for, for having the chance speaking to you. I think firstly I want to give a short overview of what's happening in, in the MIFID world as uh, we have uh, next week the discussion on the SME growth market, which is one of uh, the central issues of the uh, MIFID uh, discussion when we speak about market structure. Um, and if, I think when we have solved the SME growth market, then we have solved all the other problems in MIFID as well. No, that is not the truth, but that is a problem which I think we can easily solve between uh, Council and um, Parliament. But uh, to bring you back, what we are doing here is trying to fulfill the G20 obligations from Pittsburgh and uh, the MIFID world has um, the aim to solve all the questions which have been raised by the head of states in Pittsburgh in 2009. Also, there was agreed to have a final result by the end of 2012, which I think we passed already, uh, which was uh, in the MIFID question, not the parliament, because we solved, or we made our first reading in October. Um, the council is now ready to negotiate and we started it very quickly, so I hope we will have a political agreement till the end of the year, I cross my fingers, and uh, that means to be ready and to finalize the whole legislation till the end of this legislative period in both chambers, the council and the European Parliament. Uh, only to give you some ideas, uh, of course, you know all the headlines to make markets more transparent and safer, to take into account impact of technologies, especially high frequency trading. We try to find a market structure which gives a solution on the needs on the one hand and uh, not to increase fragmentation more than we have it already. That is one of the key points in the negotiations between the Council and Parliament. Um, I will not rise the issue of the OTFs, uh, the organized trading facilities where Parliament and Council are far away from each other. And we have as well to discuss the issue of the wafer structure where Parliament and Council is far away from each other and that are the key uh, stones uh, on the way of a uh, uh, solution, not adding third country regime where Parliament and Council disagree um, fundamentally and some other issues. So there's still a lot of work to be done, but I'm very optimistic that um, we have a chance to overcome the problem if both sides, and for the Parliament I'm trying to organize my negotiating team in that sense to move to the other side, that um, we are on the right track. Uh, for having a solution, but uh, we need movement on the other side as well um, to have at the end an agreement which keeps both sides likely unhappy or unlikely happy. <laughs> I prefer the first choice, uh, likely unhappy, uh, then I think we have found a good solution, but for the moment we have only identified the crucial points and uh, after having done that, I think there's now a chance to find a solution. So that was the MIFID part of the world uh, and on the issue we have to deal with. The other question you raised, I think, is one of the main, most important ones, as we have to take into account that um, especially SMEs in the last years created more than 280,000 new jobs from 2007 onwards. At the same time, large companies in Europe lost almost 1.5 million jobs. So only to give you this figure shows that uh, where's the growth and where is not the growth. And uh, the other thing is that uh, the financing of uh, SMEs, which are mainly uh, loan financed, uh, is a huge problem and you raise two issues, but uh, and two uh, remarks 
how one can organize an approach. But if you look what we did, for example, in the CAD4 regulation, where we tried to overcome this limitation of um, SME loans with a different factor to be calculated for own, own capital requirements shows that the European Parliament is really trying to find a solution that um, in that area where we really have growth in jobs um, is a chance to bring it further again. Um, we have to take care on what is happening for the moment uh, in various pieces of legislation. I mentioned CAD4 on the insurance side, Solvency 2, which is to be taken into account as well. We have the question of the banking resolution mechanism and all the requirements for um, bringing money together from the various actors, and the same goes um, for the safeguarding the accounts of uh, the investors. So there are three issues for the moment where you have to create new um, yeah, saving bank savings, <laughs> and that means at the end of the day, um, there are only a few possibilities to achieve that, and one of them is reducing the turnover, to reducing the engagements. And uh, where is it to be done most easily? That is uh, in the SME sector, and that is our main concern in the European Parliament. That's why we try to solve that step by step with all the um, questions which are coming up from CRD or Basel III and coming up from to say banking union as a whole, where a lot of problems are below that. On the other hand, we have to take into account that the financing of SME in the European Union is quite different from that in the United States, though there's really a gap of financing. Only to give you some figures, bank loans to companies um, account for 136% of the GDP in Europe, compared to only 55% in the United States. And on the other hand, stock market capitalization in the EU accounts, EU accounts only for 46% of the GDP compared to 104% in the United States. And I think that is a very important figure, or two parts of the world, who shows the opposite of the financing of companies and especially of uh, SMEs. And that is the main issue we have to overcome. How to do that? And that will be one of uh, the most relevant questions to be answered this afternoon. Firstly, I think we need a stable market structure. That's what I'm working for on the MIFID dossier for the moment. Secondly, we have to invent new instruments for especially SMEs, so SME growth market as a special MTF will be one of the answers to bring them uh, to other financing, financing possibilities than only bank loans. And thirdly, I think it is on high importance that um, in the risk management, uh, which is coming out of banking union for the large ones and coming out of new demands on the authorities for the smaller banks, uh, in the risk management, we have to, to deal with the question how uh, a risk of an SME can really be tackled uh, with the needs and not only, um, yeah, to say it in an easy way, only asking how many buildings you have, you can rent, uh, you can uh, ask money on. And I think that is one of the main issues uh, to be solved in the future. I, I see there the main problem because um, what we see for the moment in the European Union is that especially uh, loans, bank loans for SMEs are very fragmented according to the situation of the banks in the various member states. And um, we have to take care that uh, at the end of the day, we are not heating up those parts of the European Union or the Eurozone where it's already well functioning and not giving additional heat for those who really need investments and who really need uh, bank loans. And uh, I think that will be one of the crucial questions for the next years, and I'm very happy that European Central Bank is with us as well, as uh, I think uh, and I raised this issue more than once uh, to Mr. Draghi, is one of the key questions, how 
low interest rates or lower interest rates are coming for this uh, part of the European Union where we really need the SMEs as a job machine, as a growth machine, and uh, to overcome the problem of unemployment of young people as well. So only to give you this uh, short introduction, and thank you very much for listening.